Hi, welcome to Beadwork Tutorial Tuesdays. We are continuing on our Beadwork for Beginners series. So today I'm gonna to teach you how to bead with one needle. Now, I might be a little bit rusty on this. I usually bead with two needles, but it doesn't mean I don't know how to bead with one needle and it's easy too. <laughs> it's just, um, to me, one needle beading is a little bit more tedious, a little bit more time consuming. Um, to me, it's more difficult. I have much respect for people who bead with one needle for everything. <laughs> Two needle beading is like the new way that's faster, quicker, easier, like uh, more modern, I guess. This is how our ancestors did it with one needle. If you're looking to connect with your roots, I suggest picking up the one needle method and I'm gonna teach you that today. So today I'm gonna beat around a cab. Cabs you can find all over the internet. This one was a gift to me. Uh, but I, I know there's like a ton of them on Etsy, just literally go into Etsy and type in cabs and a whole bunch of them will pop up. There's a lot of people here on Instagram, or if you're on YouTube, if you're watching me on YouTube right now, head over to Instagram. There's a lot of cab artists who make these. All right. Other supplies you're going to need. So your needle, obviously, <laughs> this is a John James Sharps size 10. I like to use nylon thread. I buy it on this big spool. I bought this spool from a website called Powwow Fabrics. The lady who runs that website, her name is Nicole and she is incredibly helpful. So I will post her link in the captions. And what else do we need? Oh yeah, wax. So beeswax, this keeps your thread from tangling. Basically all you do is you do that and your thread will tangle quite a bit less. I learned that the hard way. Someone's like, why aren't you using beeswax? Because I was complaining of my threads tangling all the time. It is a game changer. <laughs> all right, beads. You need beads to bead. Uh, these are size 11 seed beads. And oh, I'm beading on Pellin. So this is one of my most often asked questions. Like, what are you beading on? It's Pellon Peltex 70. It's a fabric stabilizer. You can find it at like Joanne Fabrics. One more thing I want to say about this before we get into the tutorial. So I used a glue called E6000 glue. That's what I forgot to grab for this video. E6000 glue is a strong industrial strength glue. If you're going to be around it a lot, like for more than just gluing on one cab, use a mask. It's actually banned in California, so I'm sure it's banned for a reason. I read the label, it says the fumes are hazardous. So if you're going to be using E6000 glue often, wear a mask. <laughs> I don't know if that helps or not, but I feel like it might. So when you're gluing on your beads or your cabs, do you see how it's not lifting up on the edges? If Oh, see this side? I didn't glue down well enough. I don't know if you can see that. The beads sometimes can slide underneath there. So you want to make sure the glue goes all the way to the edge and then press it underneath a book overnight. So when you're beading on it, it's not like sliding around, it's on there. It's on there for good. Same with stones. If you're going to bead around like say a turquoise stone, there is an E6000 glue made especially for stones. So that's what I suggest for that. Let's get into the tutorial. Okay, the trick to, to sorry one needle beading is putting on two beads at a time so we're going to come up from underneath really close to that cab and we're just going to put on two beads at a time so pick up two beads and sorry that's in my way wrap it around where you want it to go stick the needle down right next to that last bead you just put in. See that right there? Oops. See, I'm rusty at this. <laughs> okay, so our two beads are on. And now the trick is you just come back up through those two beads. And you might, like, this size 10 needle might even be a little bit too big. John James Sharps makes a size 12 that, especially if you're using a smaller bead, all of this thread and needle in inside these beads isn't going to fit so a smaller needle might be a better idea size 11 beads this is fine for oof i'm rusty <laughs> all right so now we're ready to put on two more beads 
and this is it. It's it's really easy. Just two beads, come back up through the last two beads that you put on, and just keep going around and around. When beading small, some things I suggest, readers. <laughs> I need readers. Um, but no, planning your design. I feel like small designs are hard. <laughs> <laughs> for me at least. I like to bead a big design. So these small, beading small is difficult for me. Plan out, Pre-plan out your design. That's what I found makes it easier for me. You see? And that's it. You just keep going around and around. I'm going to put a few more beads on and then I'm going to show you how I end it and start a new thread in case you need to do that. So two more. Poke it right next to that last bead and come up through the back. Go through the two beads that you just strung on. Okay, does that make sense? And now you're ready to add two more. So say I needed to start a new thread. Your thread is way too short. Oh, I need a new one. So basically you cut off Oh wait, no, this is not this is not right. Dang it. See, I'm rusty. So now I don't know if it's gonna let me come up through the last two beads. This might be yeah it is. Darn it. See, there's too much there's too much thread, too much needle in there that's not gonna fit. So I made a boo-boo. I'll show you how I'm gonna fix this boo-boo. We're gonna come back up and pretend you gotta get it real close. Real, real close, if I can. There we go. Let's add on two more beads. And this might not look as streamlined and as smooth. I'm doing this for um, educational purposes. Normally, I would just rip out that little tiny bit of beads that I did. Say, oh, I don't want to rip it out yet. I really want to keep that. You can just keep going. But it's not going to be, you see that? It's not going to be as smooth as it would be as if the thread was coming out of this bead directly. So let's just keep going. I like to rip out beadwork. If I'm not happy with something, I rip it out. <laughs> not acceptable. All right, so come back up through the, those last two beads. See that? Do you see how this is sticking up? This is why I don't two needle bead, or sorry, this is why I don't one needle bead because I am not very good at it. <laughs> But I do know how. So let's add a few more. You guys have to hear my kids. I've got three boys, two dogs. I sent them all downstairs so I can do this video. <laughs> all right, let's add on, um, let's do a new thread. So say, oh, my thread's too short. I need to do a new one. How am I going to do this? Because, okay, that's right. So you added on two beads. And we're not going to come back up through because it's not going to fit. All this thread, all this needle is not going to fit three times through those beads. Does that make sense? So what you're going to do is, oh my gosh, my kids, <laughs> go down. We're going to tie up, tie this one off. Okay. I like to do two knots. Sometimes one knot can make its way through the other side or come undone. So I like to do one knot, then another one. So two knots, get it real close to the pellon. You can snip it off. If you want, you can singe down these loose threads with a lighter. Nylon thread singes down. Cotton thread does not. Cotton thread will just burn up to a crisp. <laughs> but nylon thread, you can sear it onto there. Okay. Now, what side was that? It would be great if I could remember what side that was. Was it this side? I guess we'll find out. So we load on a new thread on our needle. I'm just gonna use the same one for time saving purposes. So again, I like to double knot. Okay, so <laughs> this is a short thread, but good thing we're almost done. All right, was it this side? Dang it. Yeah, it was. You can see on the back. 
you, I sewed up until there. So I'm going to come back up through those last two beads from underneath. Come back through and you're ready to load on two more. I hope this tutorial was helpful. For one needle, okay, see this? This is where my cab, I did not glue it down well enough and see how the beads can slide under there? You really want to glue down all the way to the edge. If you didn't, like me, you just have to be very careful of not pulling the thread too tight where it will slide underneath there. You know what I mean? Oh, I am just really not good at one needle beading, <laughs> but that's all right. I don't practice it enough. That's the thing. I keep saying I'm not good at it. It's because I don't ever practice it. If I were to practice this way, I think I'd get good at it eventually. Oops. All right, come back up through. Beating is fun. Time slips away, at least for me. Okay, two more and then we will end this tutorial. So add on your two more beads. And that's that. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week for Beadwork Tutorial Tuesdays. Talk to you later.